Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll go ahead and talk about formulas. So let's say if I wanted to calculate how long the position is opened. So if you go back to the Java or if you go back to any of these positions, I wanted to calculate the days opened. Let's say if I provide the open date as July 1st, I should be getting, I wanted to calculate the days opened. So the days opened will be today minus the open date, right? So if the position status is new and I provided the open date, I wanted to have the days open. So if you go back and you click save on it, I want to calculate the days open for this position. So for that one, I want to create a new field. So click on the new. The field type will be formula. Click on the formula next. The name of the field will be days opened. And the return type is the number that this days open will return a number. Now the days opened is equals to is equals to today minus the open date. So from here you can select the date and time and select the today. This returns the current date. So you select that one. From the operators you can go ahead and select the subtract. And the field is open date. I wanted to calculate the open date. So a day is open. So that will be today minus open date. So if let's say today's date is August. First and the position open date is July 1st, I should get approximately 31 days. So if you check the syntax for this one, if there is no syntax errors, you can go ahead and proceed to the next step. And hit save. So now you've added a formula field here. If you go back to the position object, And if you go to this Java position, you'll see this days opened here, which is 31st. Now, if you go back and edit this open date and make it as July 15th, this the days open should come out to be 17 now. But now if I go ahead and change the status of the position to closed, and I'm providing the closed date as July 23rd, then Ideally, the open the days open should be closed minus the open date, which should be the ideal scenario. But since our formula says today minus the open date, it will not it will not give you the right value. So the days open it will return will be 17. But actually, the days open should be closed date minus the open date if you have the closed date. So in this case, we need to go ahead and edit our formula to handle this scenario. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to the view fields. And we want to edit the formula that we just created. This is the days open formula. So we go ahead and edit it. And currently the formula looks like this. Today minus the open date. Now the formula should be changed. So the formula should be if the close date is provided, then the days open should be closed minus the open date. If the formula, if the close date is not there, then it should be today minus the open date. So for that one, we'll go ahead and write a formula, which will say if, so this is a function you can select from here, which is says if block. So insert that one. What is the test? I wanted to test the, what is the condition? The logical test should be on the close date. If the close date field is blank, if the close date field is blank, so the field should be close date. So if this field is blank, the value should be today minus the open date. So you can always go ahead and calculate today minus the open date. Go up here. That should be today minus the insert operator here. Subtract, subtract the um, and insert field is the open date. So this is when the close date field is blank. But if the closed date field is not blank, value if this field is false, means if there is a value for the closed date, you can calculate the days open from closed date, subtract with the open date. So if you go back here and use the subtract operator and then the open date. So now it will calculate the correct days opened formula. So what does it say is, it says if the closed date field is, no, is blank, if there is no value provided, in that case, 
I wanted to calculate the days open by today minus the open date. Today subtract this today's date from the open date. And if the close date is provided, then I will calculate the days opened from subtracting the close date from the open date. Now you check the syntax. If there are no syntax errors, you can go ahead and proceed to the next one. So there is no one. There's no syntax error. You go ahead and save it. So this is my new formula. Now if you test this, if you go back to the position here, now it should calculate the correct days open. So if you go back to the Java, close date is 23rd of July and open date is 15th. The days open came out to be 8. Now here if I change back the status to open and close date if I made it to it's open. Now the, the days open should be the right amount. That should be from today's date minus or subtract the uh, today's date from the open date which will be 17th. So this is the formula field that we created. Now in our next video we'll go ahead and talk about relationships. Till then stay tuned and thank you.